August 17. 1408. John Gower, an early English poet, died. He was a member of the bar, and a severe contemner of the vices of the age. 1483. Edward V of England, and his brother, the Duke of York, smothered in prison by order of the Duke of Gloucester, their guardian. 1502. Columbus sent his brother Bartholomew on shore at Orjaz, and took possession of South America in the name of Ferdinand and Isabella. 1544. St. Ezier surrendered to the Emperor Charles V, after a noble defense made by the French governor. 1590. The governor of the colony of Roanoke returned from England, whither he had been for supplies the August 27th, and found the settlement deserted, the houses taken down, and the word Croto written upon the trees. He was compelled to return without finding the place of their removal. 1657. Robert Blake died, one of the most intrepid and successful admirals that have adorned the British Navy. 1673. Regnier de Groff died in France, where he acquired great celebrity as a physician and a writer. Aged 32. 1679. Jonas Moore, an English mathematician, died. Noted in the reigns of Charles I and II for his labor and enterprise in the cause of science. 1682. A comet made its appearance before the people of New England, with a tail of the very respectable length of 15 degrees, which that goodly folk did not see. The last of till the 15th September. 1714. George I arrived in England to succeed on the throne. 1720. Anne Lefevre Dacier, a French lady of great learning, died. She translated the principal Greek and Latin poets into her native language, and was noted for her many virtues, sixth by some authors. 1748. Jonathan Baxter performed the singular feat of crossing the Thames at Blackfriars in a butcher's tray in one hour. Ten minutes. Paddling with his hands. 1755. George Jeffreys, an English dramatic and miscellaneous writer, died. 1758. Richard Houseman, a laborer of Knaresborough, was committed to York Castle on suspicion of having murdered Daniel Clark. 1765. Timothy Cutler, an Episcopal clergyman, died at Boston, age 82. Formerly president of Yale College. 1779. The independence of the United States declared at New Orleans by beat of drum. 1785. Jonathan Trumbull, governor of Connecticut, died. He bore a conspicuous part in public affairs during the period of fifty years, and retired at the close of the Revolution. 1786. Frederick II the Great of Prussia, died. He distinguished himself as a warrior, and a man of letters, and was one of the most celebrated characters of his day. 1796. The Dutch fleet under Admiral Lucas surrendered to the British at the Cape of Good Hope. 1807. British Army invested Copenhagen. At the same time the Danish gunboats attacked the British with grape and round shot. 1808. Battle of Raleigh, in Portugal, between the French, 6,000, under Laborde and a much superior force of British under Wellesley. The French were compelled to retreat with the loss of 1,500. British lost 500. 1809. Matthew Bolton, an English engineer, died. He erected an extensive establishment at Soho, and expended £47,000 in the course of experiments on the steam engine 
before Watt perfected the construction and occasioned any return of profit. 1812. First Day's Battle of Smolyanovo, on Nodwina. The Russians under Count Wittgenstein defeated the French under Audinot, with great carnage. Audinot was dangerously wounded, and Saint Cyr took the command. 1812. Battle of Smolensko, on the Boristans. Upwards of 100,000 men were engaged, and the conflict was long and bloody. The French under Bonaparte and his best generals maintained their ground. The Russians retreated in the night, after having fired the city. The French are supposed to have lost about 13,000, and the Russians about half the number. 1813. Battle near Lake George, between the United States troops under Jin P. B. Porter and a body of British and Indians. The latter were defeated. 1818. James Constantine Perrier, an able French machinist, died. He was the greatest manufacturer of machinery in France, having at one time no less than 93 establishments. Notwithstanding this weight of business, he found time for literary pursuits, and was an author. 1830. Lafayette created Marshal of France. 1832. Jean Saint Martin, an eminent French Orientalist, died at Paris of cholera. He was principal editor of the Journal Asiatique, and particularly distinguished for his knowledge of the languages of Western Asia. 1836. M. de Rainval, an eminent French diplomatist, died. He was employed in important missions under Bonaparte, and after the Restoration had a still more distinguished career in diplomacy. 1838. Lorenzo de Pont died in New York, aged 89. He was an Italian by birth, but long a resident of the city of New York. Distinguished for his attainments, particularly in Italian literature and art, and author of various publications, among which are some celebrated operas. 1840 Mordecai Moore, died at Clinton, Maine, aged 104. 1848. Disastrous fire at Albany. Several hundred buildings burned, and one million of property destroyed. 1849. Henry Coleman, many years Unitarian minister at Salem, Massachusetts, died in London. He had for some time devoted himself to agricultural inquiries, and published several volumes on the agriculture of foreign countries. 1850. Ashtabula County Courthouse, Ohio, with all papers and records, destroyed by fire. 1852. Pompeo Lilla, an Italian author, died at an advanced age. He began in 1819 a costly illustrated work on the genealogies of the principal Italian families, existing and extinct. 1853. A difficulty occurred at the Chantje Islands between the Peruvian commandant and the American shipmasters in port. 1857. A block of pure crystalline ice weighing 25 pounds was discovered in a meadow near Cricklewood, England. On the day previous a destructive hailstorm passed, over the spot. Mesre, in his History of France mentions a block of ice that fell of the weight of 100 pounds, during the thunder and hailstorm in the year 1510. <laughs>